All right, guys, so today I am in the woods with the wife. We've got the Toyota with us out here. We kind of got the Overland setup going on and we're doing an overnighter. We're not too far from the house, but I'm product testing some new gear. And today while I was here, I figured I would make you guys a video. So today's video is gonna be kind of a top five overlanding must-haves so some of it i'm just testing out it's really cool stuff i'm going to share with you guys today and some of it is kind of some emergency stuff that you might need while you're out here in the middle of nowhere y'all stick around All right guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. So like I just said, we're today we're gonna be testing out five new products for overlanding. And I even, I'm a good YouTuber. Look, I made myself a little checklist so I can give you all the specs and details on these items. And some of this stuff is brand new to the market. So I'm gonna have links to everything. If you see something in here you like, I'll have a link for it in the video description below. If I've got a coupon code for something, it will be next to the link in the video description. So if I don't have a coupon code next to it, odds are I don't have a coupon code, but I think I've got one for most of this stuff I'm gonna share with you today. So number one, and this isn't in any particular order, this is just one through five. I'm gonna start at the front of the truck and work my way back. It's a new company. This is an air carrier. This is by a company called Flated. This is an inflatable air carrier, meaning that you can carry it in a backpack inflate it with a pump that comes with it and store it on the top of your vehicle. It opens from both sides and I'll put a little footage right here of me pumping it up in the shop before we left for today's trip and actually putting some stuff in it on top of the truck. This thing is amazing. You can strap this to the top of any car. You don't have to have a roof rack or anything like that. It weighs less than 20 pounds. It stores in a backpack. It is completely waterproof. So anything you store in here is gonna be safe if you drive through a thunderstorm or something like that. It's lightweight, uh, no roof rack needed. It is the new drop stitch technology. So when you inflate this, if you think in your mind like the paddle board material that's out now with these, you air up these paddle boards and they're really rigid, that's the same technology that's in this. Once you inflate it, it is hard as a rock all the way around. You can open it from both sides and get your stuff in and out of it. So it is perfect for overlanding because when you're not using it, you can just deflate it, stick it in the backpack and throw it in the bed of the truck or in the back of the car. This is the medium. If you come around here, you can kind of see the size of it compared to the front of my Prince Sue rack. I think it's uh, 30 inches for the medium and maybe 35 for the large, the width wise, but they are really, really cool. So if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these, and you're gonna see this a lot more in the upcoming months of my channel. So just keep your eye out. I'll be sharing more info with this. You'll see me using this a whole lot when we do a lot of overlanding and stuff. When I'm taking a whole lot of gear, when we're going to a different state, this is gonna be strapped to the top of the truck because I can relieve a lot of stuff out of the back seat and the bed of the truck by just sticking it into my flated air carrier. So y'all make sure you check them out. Links in the video description. All right, so that gets us to item number two on the list, which is a new power pack that I've been testing out. This is the Blue Eddy EB55 unit. This is a 700 watt AC inverter. Uh, it'll do DC and AC. It'll actually charge 13 different devices at the same time. So it has way more ports than I've actually seen on, if you follow me for a long time, you know that I have product tested several of the big name power packs that are on the market. This one actually offers a lot more extra uh, options than most of the ones that I've been testing recently. So if you come over here and look at it really close, it's got one option right here on top that you haven't seen on, I don't think any of them yet. See it right here, it says wireless output 15 watts. And what that means is, is you can set your phone up here and it will automatically start charging it. So this supports wireless charging for your cell phones. It's got a few extra ports here on the front. You can see it's got a full color digital display and I've got some specs on it right here. I'll tell you, it will power up to 13 devices at the same time. It has two input ports that are right here, meaning that you can actually charge this up at the same time through two separate ports to so double the charge efficiency of it. This is a LifePo 4 battery versus all of the other ones that are lithium ion, meaning this battery will last three to five times longer 
than the other uh, lithium ion batteries. These LifePo 4s are the way to go nowadays. So this is a brand new one to the market, guys. I've been product testing it for about three or four months now. I really like it so far. I'm gonna keep putting it through its paces. It's got all kind of extra stuff on it. Right now we're running my ice cold refrigerator, but if you spin it around, it's even got a big old flashlight here on the back. The sun's out really bright right now, so you probably can't see it, but you can brighten it up, throw it in a little SOS mode, and then you just cut it off. And yeah, this is a really cool unit. I have been testing it in the garage. This is the first trip outdoors that I've had. So you're gonna see this a lot in my camping adventures and stuff that are coming up this coming up this spring when we go up in the mountains, when we go out to Lake Gunners one, stuff like that. This is how I plan on running. Everything in the tent will be out of this Blue Eddy. So y'all stay tuned. I'll do another video updating you guys on how it's doing. And if you're interested in one, I'll have it linked in the video description below. All right, so number three is something that I've been wanting to test out for a long time. And that is the new Zero Breeze air conditioner unit for tents. Now, I finally got my hands on one of these. It's almost summertime here. I mean, well, it just became spring in Alabama, but once the weather starts getting a lot warmer, today, I think the high is only like 62, but I still wanted to come out and test this thing out. This thing will cool off a tent in no time. This is an amazing product that's on the market. It weighs like 16 pounds. It's completely digital. It's even got a remote control. So you can actually have an air conditioner in your tent and remote control it from, you know, set the temperature. It's got a digital display on the front of it so you can actually set the temperature. And what's really cool about this is it comes with everything you need. I've got like a little box here that I've made with all the duct work where you can set it outside of your tent, but you can actually take Take this in your tent with you and you don't have to plug it up. If you want to plug it up to a power pack, you can. It comes with your AC plug just like a normal unit. You plug it up to your Blue, Ed Blue Eddy or your power pack or you know plug it into a drop cord if you're near power, but you don't have to have that. These actually have battery packs that hook to the bottom of the AC unit. So right here you can see if I turn this on, you hear the beeps, it turns on the AC unit at the top. So now we are powered up. It's got USB ports across the bottom, a USB-C port. You can actually use the battery pack as a charger for your phone at the same time when you're using it to run your AC unit. If you look right here, it's got a little swivel and you can actually swivel it around. And I don't know, can you see the 74, 73 degrees is showing right here? I've actually got it running. And if you hit the, the button up here at the top, let's turn it on rocket it will actually start pumping out cold air. This thing is amazing. Let's take it in the tent where you can see it better. All right, so I got you guys in the tent. It's a little bit too glary, the sun. I noticed it was ruining some of the footage, but now you can see that it is actually not too big at all. We could stick this into the corner inside of the tent with no issues at all run the remote control and cool off our whole tent. It's even got a little light that you mash. You see it just throws a little night light up around the, the actual fan. You can tilt it down and I don't know, can you see the, it says 56 degrees. It is actually, I just turned it on and it's already pumping out 56 degrees, 55 degrees, and it's just gonna get colder and colder. And then you can set the thermostat with your remote to anything you want. And at the same time it's in the corner of your tent, we can plug up our cell phones to the battery pack and just run this thing all night on low with, you know, keep us, it is so much nicer when you go camping to sleep in a tent that is not muggy and you're sweaty and you're sticking to each other and sticking to the tent. This is gonna be a game changer this year. I cannot wait to put it through its paces, but this is the Zero Breeze. I'll have it linked in the video description below. Make sure you guys check it out. If you're into rooftop tent camping like I am, this is gonna be a game changer, especially for the people who live in the South, where when it's, once the middle of spring gets here, then until September, we sleep in like 70 and 80 degree temperatures out in the tent at night. So that is horrible. This is gonna change all of that. I can't wait to put it through its paces. Stay tuned for upcoming adventure videos where I'm gonna be using this. And it's actually, I forgot to mention before I quit talking about this product, it's actually got a little tube in the back so if you want to run it inside, it does, per, it does have the condensation tube, so you can just poke it out of this corner of your tent somewhere so that the condensation will go out of the tent and you don't end up with any inside the tent. So, but if you want to run it on the roof rack outside and duct it in, you don't have to use the condensation tube. It'll actually just put it right out you know, into the truck on the ground or whatever. So this is the Zero Breeze AC unit. I'm going to be 
testing this thing out all summer long. Can't wait. All right, so items number four and five are kind of emergency style stuff that I've kind of added to my gear list over the past year. And I, we have actually used them. This is the Gulu. I think I'm saying that right. It's G-O-O-L-O-O. -O -O, and I found this on Amazon. So this is a jump starter. I believe this is actually called the GT3000. And what's really cool about this one compared to the other ones is it from a completely dead one. So if you run this down to zero, you can charge it up to 100% in 57 minutes. So in less than an hour, you can fully charge this jump starter and get it back in your truck. So when you go on long trips, I've actually had to jump people's cars off on the side of the road before using this. And this will actually, if you fully charge it to 100%, it will jump start 60 different times before you have to charge this again. So you can actually continuously use this and then once it gets down to zero, you charge it for an hour and it's good to go again. It's got a really bright LED light on the side. It's got some USB type C, regular USB ports on the end. And it even comes with a carrying bag and some wires. And this is how I keep it in the back of my truck under the seat. It's got your jump starter cables. It's got some USB cables. It's got cigarette lighter ports. So you can actually charge this if you're stranded out somewhere. Uh, you can actually charge this off your battery. If your battery is good and you got to charge this up to jump someone else off, you can actually charge it up if this goes bad. But it'll actually keep a charge for, I think, several years. I think what I write down uh, is 24 month standby mode. So if you charge this up to 100%, you, it'll guarantee you for at least two years is if you don't use it the battery will not deplete at all not even one percent so these are really good they're handy to have on, on any camping trip or in your truck just at all times so they're really good to have so this is item number four i'll have it linked below it's an amazon link so it's called gulu or golo i'm not even sure how you, how you pronounce it but it's really cool get you one of these they're pretty cheap too and i think right now they they've got like a coupon code going on the actual amazon site for these so get one of these throw it in the back seat of your truck all right last but not least and i just kind of threw this one in here because the wife and i actually use these so when you get up on the mountain and we like to do a lot of hiking and mountain biking and stuff like that so when we go on a hiking trip especially here in alabama once you get deep into like chihaw mountain there is zero cell service and if i get far ahead of her or if we're going with a group we like to keep a set of cheap walkie talkies now i found these off amazon i believe they're called redivis but i wrote down their model number this is the rt 45p these were actually the reason i went with them is they're kind of designed for water so you can actually take these on a kayak they're waterproof so you can drop them in the water they'll be perfectly fine they've got like a whistle a flashlight and all the little fancy stuff that comes with these nowadays but these are actually rechargeable so you don't have to put double a batteries and stuff in them you can actually plug it up to the wall i think it's got usb type c charging ports plug it up and you're good to go and these actually have the weather station what's it called the do 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 It'll actually do the NOAA weather alerts. So if you've got these on and you're hiking and a, and a bad weather's coming and they'll put an alert out, it will actually break through on your walkie talkie and announce it and let you know to take cover or that you know something's coming your way. So these are good to have, they're really cheap. There's a good coupon code on these on Amazon right now. I'll have that link below. This is item number five. I just kind of threw them in there because they're good to have, they're cheap. You can charge them up, throw them in your camping gear. They don't weigh a whole lot and you can take them with you and stay safe. And these actually, I do want to say that you can use these right out of the box and they will link up with other walkie talkies. So if you've got one in the woods and something does happen, you can chime in to other people if they're close enough with their walkie talkies. These go a pretty good long range. I'm not exactly the, I'm not gonna lie and say I know the distance, but I know they'll go really far out. So these are really good to have and they're cheap. Get one, throw it in your camping gear bag. All right, guys, that is my five must-haves for overland camping here in Alabama. Now I know my five must-haves are probably gonna be way different than you guys' must-haves, but down in Alabama, it gets hot whenever you sleep in a tent and it makes it miserable. So the AC, that is definitely gonna be on my must-have list now that I've got one and was able to actually test it out and try it in the tent. I can't wait to use this thing this summer. Make sure if you're interested in anything, you check out the links in the video description below. We've gotta start packing up today. It's Sunday evening. We gotta head back to the real world go back to work tomorrow. I dread it, but we got to do it. So I will catch you guys next Thursday at two o'clock. Check it out. I'll be on the water testing out the new Motor Guide XI3 that we just installed on the Hobie. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.